Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so, so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video, comment in the comment section down below, and I will be so grateful. Today, I want us to look at a very stubborn chicken disease that is paralysis. Most of us have been affected by this paralysis. Personality has affected me in my previous flock. And so many of you have really been sending me messages how your birds cannot walk, how your birds are lame, how your birds have twisted necks. This is all paralysis. And it is, by the way, very stubborn. If it is not treated, your birds can end up dying. You Actually, you'll end up just thinking of losing that bird because you'll find that that bird will never walk. That bird is so miserable. So we are going to look at it in two details and they are categorized into three. So we are going to look at each category, how you can treat it, how you organic treatment, okay? How you can prevent it from happening. Some of the signs and symptoms that you can know, this is paralysis in your flock. And so let us look at the first one which is called the nutritional paralysis. It is caused by the nutritional deficiency, especially the vitamins and minerals. This is usually very rare among the free range birds. Now for those who are having like local birds, you know these free range birds always go and graze by themselves so they're able to pick different vegetables in the farm there. They're able to pick different worms, different insects, which will help supplement on their on their on their uh, on their feeds but unlike the birds that are kept like in the deep litter system birds that are in cages you'll find that they might be lacking some of these minerals and vitamins so they will end up getting this paralysis now what are some of the signs and symptoms of paralysis the first one is a uh, twisted neck if you see your birds having the twisted neck probably they'll be having this nutritional paralysis. And then also when the chicken becomes lame, and also when the birds have stretched legs, sometimes birds will end up having curled toes and birds will end up having rickets. All these are signs and symptoms of nutritional paralysis. So how can you prevent this from happening in your flock? Make sure that you provide your birds with green leafy vegetables. Uh, now, like for example, you can give your birds spinach, you can give them cocoyam leaves, you can give your birds uh, kale or skuma wiki, you can give them the pumpkin leaves. You know, I've talked about this before, and uh, for those who are really following, they're really enjoying it. So that is why, please, I really want all of us to embrace the use of this herbal remedies in our farms because you will find that it will help us a lot from most of these chicken diseases and then also another way that you can prevent it is that um for the case of the calcium deficiency make sure that you buy your feeds from a reputable manufacturer because some of us we end up not going to the stores where they're mixing these feeds from so sometimes this uh this store owners will end up not mixing all the nutrients or they will end up not putting enough calcium in the feed so at the end your birds will end up getting this paralysis so that is why sometimes i will say please endeavor to be available where they're mixing your feeds from for those who do not make their own feeds from the farm please make sure that you are available where they're mixing those feeds to avoid this type of paralysis from happening in your farm and then also the second type of paralysis that we have is the disease paralysis okay the disease paralysis is mainly caused by diseases that can be prevented through vaccination and some of these diseases includes newcastle disease and marex and the marex is supposed to be vaccinated from the archery so make sure that when you're bringing those chicks get your chicks from a repeatable supplier where you are very sure they have vaccinated those birds from Marex. If your birds are not vaccinated from Marex, they will end up getting this disease paralysis. And then also vaccination of Newcastle disease is very important. That is why I told you that personally, I'm still doing vaccination, especially with my layers. 
Because if you do not vaccinate the bus, you know, I got hit by Newcastle before. That is why I still have that fear of not vaccinating these birds. I got hit in the, in the beginning when I started the project where I told you I lost over 700 birds. And I used to see birds having twisted necks. You know, I used to, I used to even joke about it because you can see a bird is just falling down and having twisted neck. It is, it looks really very funny, but at the end of the day, you will end up losing a lot. And it, it happened to be that it was Newcastle disease. So if you do not vaccinate your birds against Newcastle disease, it is really very, very dangerous when they end up getting this type of paralysis. Okay. So the only way you can prevent it from happening is to vaccinate those birds. Eh? Agenes, Marex, and Agenes, uh, Newcastle disease. The third type of paralysis is paralysis caused by external factors. And these external factors include injury, parasites, and toxins. This last one, actually, I got, I got affected by it recently among my local breeds. You know, I have mixed turkeys, ducks, and chicken together. So I have this turkeys that keeps on stepping on the young chicks. I have this big cocks that keep on mounting the young chicks. So I got affected. Actually, I've gotten affected so far twice. I've lost two birds because of this paralysis, this type of uh, paralysis. You find that when those those uh, adult chicken birds keep on stepping on the young ones, they'll end up not walking. They'll end up getting lame, and which is really very, very bad. That is why we say if you're keeping these local birds, make sure that you separate the young ones from the, the, the mature birds to avoid this type of paralysis. But sometimes you find that uh, cases, there are some cases that you cannot avoid. Now, like me who has a small piece of land and I'm doing all this project here, okay? You will find that sometimes it is very hard to avoid this. And then also, the parasites include uh, the scaly leg mites, which we talked about it before because normally it sucks the blood in the chicken's leg and normally they defecate there, leading to the chicken having rough legs and later the chicken will end up having the rickets, okay? Now, what are some of the organic treatments for this paralysis caused by the external factors? The organic treatments, you'll get the garlic, you'll get the neem oil, oil, the coconut oil. I demonstrated this last time in my previous video about the scaly leg mites. That is how you're going to treat it. You're going to get the garlic, you're going to blend the garlic, okay? Make it a little bit concentrated. Don't put too much water. Make it a little bit concentrated and then you dip the chicken feet in the in the in the in the in the warm water and then later you will start brushing off the scales as you keep pouring the garlic juice on it then after you'll have to smear it with the coconut oil or the neem oil and at least you will do that for like for for three times a week it will really help that bad now if we want to prevent this paralysis from happening in our farms what are you supposed to do as a farmer? First of all, make sure that you mix your feed see, well from a repeatable store so that all the nutrients are included in that feed, especially the calcium. And then secondly, make sure that you provide these birds with these greens, like the pumpkin leaves, like the papaya leaves, like the cocoa yam leaves, like the cabbages that I've been talking about. And then also secondly, and then thirdly, make sure that you vaccinate these birds, especially against the Marex and the Newcastle disease. That will really help us from uh, this paralysis. And then also another thing that you must consider, make sure that do not mix the birds especially for those who are keeping the local birds. Make sure that the, 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 the young birds are far from the birds that are already mature. In that way, you will really protect and prevent this paralysis from happening in our farms. And then uh, make sure that um, you avoid over congestion in the chicken house, especially for you to prevent this scale leg mites from happening. Make sure that the chicken house is large enough for these birds and also always let us not forget biosecurity let us not forget feeding these birds 
well and giving them clean drinking water and then how what is now the general organic treatment for this paralysis please make sure that you mix garlic mix aloe vera mix turmeric and give to those birds at least for seven consecutive days in that way it will really uh, cure your birds from this paralysis but make sure that don't forget to to give these birds these greens almost every day if you get the chance please give these birds the greens you will be able to prevent paralysis from happening now me with the, my layers honestly i've not gotten this case of paralysis apart from the first birds that i got newcastle disease the current birds are very very okay today we are not collecting eggs but our production is still very, very fine. So for today, that is all I had for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always coming back and watching my videos. Thank you so much for loving me. Guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll be so grateful. Remember, we are on our way to 100k subscribers. So please let us share the video. Let us drop a comment. Let us, you know, let us not forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll be so grateful. See you next time. I love you all. Bye-bye.